career 302 hitter at the minute. Live from Main Street Field, some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Tulsa Drillers taking on the Midland Rockhounds. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch moments away. Our starter in this one, Parker Dunchy. What do you got on him, Chris? Yeah, he was a tough luck loser last time out, dominating his opponent. Soft contact, they were able to score a couple of runs. But outside of that, everything was sharp. You hope that he gets a better result this time out. Reward the guy for his... It's hard work. No center field. One down. Buddy, Buddy Muddy, Muddy digs in now. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Batting four, the first baseman, Ryan. Here's Cody Hosey. The third baseman, number one. Cody Posey. One down, base is empty. Out towards right center field. Makes the grab after a long run. Two down. Every day during There's batting practice, eight. these outfielders. Now Drew Avon. Out the plate, struck out swinging his first time. Center field. Muddy makes the grab. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. Shortstop. Rain Duncan. And now the center fielder, Buddy Muddy. He's old for a while. Put a rip into one. Put a rip into one right here. Look for your pitch here. Here we go. Here we go. Liner caught it second. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid now the back. double play. Now Number 68, the next to hit. Grounded out his first time. The pitch. Swung on. Belted. Muddy going back. Back some more. Still going back. 
makes the catch up against the wall. Well, I didn't think he got it off the bat, but the wind made it a lot more interesting than it. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Buddy Muddy. Muddy. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. First offering misses the mark. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Next offering is fouled back. Righty to the plate. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Around second now, going for three. And for him, that's two solid weeks with a hit in every game. I mean, he's run his hitting streak to 14, and let me tell you, that's no easy task. This guy's grinding out at bats. He's figuring out ways to put the ball in play and just as well do it with some authority. Now the batter down. Yeah. Number 73. On the ground to third. Zips it across. And that is the inning. We played five full. Tied at one aside. Here's the center fielder, Johnny DeLuca. One for two. Johnny DeLuca. Hey, two way, two way. And a pinch. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Muddy drifts towards it. And that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seventh inning stretch. So up next, Buddy Muddy, one for three. Buddy Muddy. Muddy. 
Now a high fly ball out to left center. DeLuca puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark. And now Buddy Muddy. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Gowdy back to work. This one in the air center field. DeLuca pulls it down. Grounder tags it second. And he's in safely at third with one out. Now batting, first baseman, Ryan Noda. So digging in, Yorbit Vivas. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The 0-1. Lifted in the air, right center field. Muddy settles under this one, drops into the glove. Both runners tagging from second and third. One runs in. Now the second run is in. And it's a two-run lead now in extra innings. Johnny DeLuca. Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious drillers. Three runs, four hits, no errors. They left 18 runners on base. For the Rockhound, one run, eight hits, one error. They left 18 runners on base. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Double A Baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Tulsa Drillers taking on the Midland Rockhounds. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, Miguel Romero. Safe to say, he's pretty stingy, Chris. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Out to center. Muddy has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Batting second, the shortstop. Rain. Base is empty Batting with two away. Three. Digging the in, it's the speedy outfielder, Muddy. Buddy Muddy. Muddy. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Swing and a miss, no and that's strike ball. one. Right. On the ground. Fires to first on the run. Not in time. He legs it out. Well, he did all he could at short to try to make an amazing play and almost got it done, but good hustle down the line, and that's an earned infield hit. Runner at first with two away. And here's the first baseman, number 73. One run batted in yesterday, their only run of the game. Goes down looking. An inning in the books tonight, and we're scoreless here on the show. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's a speed threat. Buddy Muddy. Buddy Muddy. Choi back to work. 
Pulls that one foul. The 0 1. Right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting. First baseman. Ryan. Here's the shortstop at the play. Number 27. Don't know. In the air, out towards right center. Muddy should have this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that will end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. To the bottom of the sixth inning. The Rockhounds have the advantage. One to nothing. And stepping in is the speedy Buddy Muddy. One for two. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. Oh, one. On Ripped on a line. Base hit. The run comes in from second, and they take a two-run lead. Comes through with the RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So here's the cleanup hitter, number 73, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. The throw to first, one away, bottom of the sixth. The right fielder, number six, Greg. And now the right fielder, Greg Dykeman. And a pitch. And there's ball four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Stepping in number 20. Choi throws over. Muddy caught in between trying for third now. And they put the tag on him for the out. Now it's going to be one Buddy right Muddy. He was the big part of the field well. last time. Nice liner Muddy. to center. Muddy. All right, your pitch coming right here, right now. Let her rip. Here we go. All right, looking for your pitch here. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's put a charge into one right here. Let's go. Out to short. They get the force. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. One down. Carson Taylor getting ready to hit. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And that one in the air center field. Muddy makes the grab on the run. Now batting the left fielder. Here in the bottom of the ninth, now one out. On, and now the center fielder, Buddy Muddy. Muddy. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. 
Ball one, no strikes. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Next offering is foul back. A 1 1. Rudder goes again. Out to short. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a play, and they don't get the out. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch AB could end this one. Two on, one out. Number 73 digs in now. Line drive, base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Row not in time, and they walk it off. These guys were hoping they wouldn't have to hit in the bottom half of this inning, but they did because the other team scored that run. But they battled back, got the runs they needed for an awesome walk-off win. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Rockhounds: four runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left 14 men on base. For the Drillers, three runs on seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 57 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please. Drive home safely. A double-A manager has called one of his young players in for a quick word. The word is good. Within 48 hours, this player will be in a new city and putting on a new uniform. Before the break, we were talking about how exciting it is for these young players getting called up to AAA. Carlos, when you got called up to AAA in 2001, what, were you, what was going through your mind? Well, you know what? It was a big jump because now you're getting players that are veterans coming down from the big leagues to AAA. So the level of play was a little bit more advanced. So this is where you get tested. And if you succeed in AAA, you pretty much secure your spot at the very least they think that you're ready for the big leagues and then they don't hesitate to call you up. Yeah, that's it. When you're jumping a level, you're excited, you're eager to find out where your talent level sits with a talent above the league that you come from. And if you want to make it to the major leagues, you got to prove yourself at every level. Well, they're at the doorstep of the big leagues.